Have you ever found yourself staring at an eyeshadow palette hoping that it holds the perfect shades for your unique style only to be disappointed when you get home? Believe me, I've been there. It's like searching for a needle in a haystack with only a handful of colors that truly speak to you while the rest sit untouched and collect dust. And you know what? I got tired of settling. I decided to break the mold and create my very own custom eyeshadow palette. And it's made a world of difference in my routine and in my wallet. In today's video, I'm sharing how I created my dream eyeshadow palette and how I continue to choose personalized palettes over the commercially available ones to achieve the ultimate sustainability and bespoke system. So stick around to find out how easy it was to create and my trick for converting any eyeshadow pot into one I can add to my custom collection. Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my little corner of the internet where I share ideas, insights, and hopefully inspiration on the subjects that I'm passionate about, creativity, organization, and self-care. In today's episode of my Overly Organized series, I'm showing off the custom DIY eyeshadow palettes I've used for over a decade that have saved me money and frustration. While I find it incredibly impressive and I admire the bold makeup looks that are commonplace these days, I still prefer sticking to the classic looks that complement my features. So for my complexion and my green eyes, raisin and plum colors are my preference, but they are really hard to come by and they were especially hard to find in eyeshadow palettes way back in my 20s and 30s. So I first learned about customizable eyeshadow palettes through the Makeup Geek brand because they were purportedly offering some dupes to some MAC eyeshadow colors that I wanted. And while I was on the Makeup Geek brand website, I actually learned that they offered this nine slot customizable eyeshadow palette that I still own to this day. I was pleased as punch to get to customize my own eyeshadow palette and the rest as they say is history. I eventually found more eyeshadow shades in the plum and the raisin colors that I preferred. And at some point I needed a larger size palette. So I found one on Amazon that allowed me to organize 12 eyeshadow pots. So I also branched out from the Makeup Geek shadows and oftentimes I could find standalone refillable palettes that didn't come with any plastic casing or the clamshell packaging. But most of the time, the shades that I wanted to add to my collection came in the traditional single eyeshadow packaging that clamshells open and it's all plastic surrounding the metal pot. So I set out to figure out how to remove the eyeshadow pot from that plastic packaging so that it would go into my palette. And I came across a common method that was to take the plastic casing and place it on top of a piece of aluminum and place both of those items on top of a straightening iron. And you let the heat from the straightening iron heat and warm up the plastic and the glue surrounding the metal eyeshadow pot. And supposedly it's very easy to remove the two from each other. But my flat iron was rather low end and it didn't get to very hot temperatures because my hair is effectively straight and that method didn't quite pan out for me. But I am an avid crafter and I own a heat gun and that did the trick. It made it super easy to heat the casing and the glue and remove the metal pot from the plastic packaging. And so this is the method that I use on the regular and most often these days when I need to replace an eyeshadow pot in my collection. And speaking of replacements, that's the other bonus of this solution. When I finish off one pot, I'm able to swap it for a refill or a new color altogether if I want. And the palette as a whole continues to serve my needs both in function and in value. And the palette itself is magnetized. So most metal pots stay snugly in place, but for the rare aluminum housing, I can easily attach a small magnetic sticker to make sure it stays put. I hope sharing my creative organizing solution for my eyeshadows inspires you to find the best solution that works for you. This video is just one in my series of creative organizing solutions. So check out the playlist that is linked in the card at the end of this video for more fun and creative organizing solutions. And let me know in the comments below if you're planning on making your own custom eyeshadow palette. I would love to know. I hope to see you in my next video and until then have a good one.